Wow, nice, nice. In today's video, we find ourselves back on the outskirts of the town of Port Alberni, visiting the Beaufort Range, which started forming over 300 million years ago from undersea volcanoes, which had erupted and created a lava layer. But in March of 2024, we get to take this as a hiking and biking trail along the Beaufort Range here in our part two video. Actually, I had no clue there was a waterfall up there. We might have to take that little walk hike up there. This is fabulous. So I think I'm gonna put the bike here and do that little hike in half a mile. Okay, it's not all that far in. I don't know the full road to get in. It's up farther. But this is some of the beauty. Wow, look at this. Look at how it's coming through that rock. Wow, that's a huge slab. Sorry, I know I'm simple-minded. Oh, there it is up there. It's incredible, actually. Oh, the lighting is horrible for video work. I've been so many places like this, I can't keep track of them. That's why I video, because I can go back and I can see I've forgotten so many places in British Columbia and Alberta, I guess, too. And another thing, reason why I go to some of these places, because others don't get to go or can't go. So, you know, I get to share some of this stuff. It's going to video me, but because uh, some of these trails are not easy to get to older or handicapped. This one looks like it's worth it, though. Okay, so this is what I mean. It's off the beaten path. Okay, I don't think the camera picks this up. It's a straight cliff rock place. Holy shit. This is actually a surprisingly nice setting. Wow, look at this. This is actually really nice. It's a hidden gym. Now, I've never heard of this one before. Just stumbled upon it going down this trail. Holy. Look at it. How the hell? I wonder if it's cold. Go take a shower. How the hell? Wow. Unbelievable. My phone might pick this up better. Yeah, it does. Look at this. See what I mean? This It's right at the edge of a rock face. Or cliff face. This is ungodly. How the hell did I not know about this? I've lived here for how long? A year? Oh, nobody talks about it. Who would have known? Okay, as much as I want to spend a lot of time here, the bike's back at the beginning of the trail and I don't trust it. I didn't lock it up. But, uh, ungodly hidden gem. You could climb up that log, but, but too slippery, that big one. You could put a chain and hoist yourself up. Wow. <laughs> I'm happy I came today and found this. Now, note to self, this fence, yeah, it's a little bit wiggly. So I came uphill. Yeah, I trudged up that, so just to kind of check out what we got. The camera's showing a white haze in the air. I don't know if it's picking up the condensation. I tried clearing off my lens, but it's not helping. Anyway, we came down here. Now I gotta go back up that one. So that'll be a push up. <laughs> Once I get down here. Oh, holy, look at this. Check this out. Farm by the valley. Wow. Beautiful. So many beautiful trails here. Wow. Ungodly. Now, I don't think I'm on the log train. I think the log train's up there. We'll save it for maybe for another time. I might follow this one, which goes to the mill along the edge of that mountain there. And I, I'll stop maybe at the mill. I'll see how the time goes. Uh, the, it, this trail meets up with the logging trail anyways, but it just doesn't go as high up the mountains. More mud. 
So much for my new backpack, it's all dirty. Okay, you know you're not in the bush until you stumble upon some cars. I'm surprised they didn't sell it for scrap or tote to scrap. Mind you, the old days, scrap metal was not as popular. Looks like a 60 Impala I saw from the window line. And what else? I see, looks like an old Ford or an Envoy. Uh, nope, that would be a Packard by the looks of it. It looks like a Packard. Uh, what's it say there? <laughs> Nothing. Just a bunch of dents. By the 57 Packard, by the looks of it, by the eyes and the top opening of the grill. So, yeah, not much left of her. Trails are beautiful here. This, this year, I gotta get out exploring. Did I say that? I don't know. Repeating myself. Uh, what is going on? Oh, nothing. <laughs> the bike's been flawless, except when I fell off it and whatever. And the gas tank is loose now, so that means, uh, yeah, we'll have to, uh, whatever. <laughs> now, I guess I am on the logging trail. I didn't realize that. According to this map, it says I'm here on the trail. So I'm going to go maybe here. I don't know how far up I'm going today. We'll see. How, um, but the interesting thing was you saw that I'm on the lower edge of this mountainside well it says in 1886 Sarah Nichols and her four children walked across this from the other side of the ocean the city on the other side of this Comox am I blocking the microphone no I'm not uh, Comox Courtney area Cumberland and, and Nanaimo area she walked up this mountainside and traveled down the opposite side to get to her husband who was waiting here for her, who was farmsteading because there was no roads in in 1886. Can you imagine four kids walk that? Wow, that's impressive. Kids nowadays, they're wimpy compared to that. They'll sit at home, play games, and play internet on the phone. Look at how far we've come from trudging through a bush in the middle of nowhere. I'm still in the middle of nowhere. To having a handhold computer that does everything for you. Crazy. It's interesting. It's a lot Nobody of fun. Nobody really builds them, eh? You don't really see them. Like I haven't and seen a too many. I've never seen nothing. I think liability and stuff. Oh, yeah, okay. might be a little bit on the sketchy side. No different than um, well, original motorcycles well, were like this. Might be a problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But, but, or kilometers, yeah. Oh yeah. Not miles, yeah. But uh, yeah, otherwise I don't. You know what else? Like um, those skateboards, yeah, they're burning up, or, or the oh, electric. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the stuff's uh, batteries are blowing up, so yeah. uh, I wouldn't see a big problem with it. But it looks you designed it quite well, like it seems not the bad. Chain guide and stuff like that, eh? Yeah, you need the chain or it, it slacks slack up. Of... So just playing around here and there, trying to figure out different things at this point. Um, you can get turbos for them and everything, different <laughs> performance carburetor. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's insane what they're doing to them. Yeah, some, yeah. Some of these guys are going to kill it. It's yeah, too yeah, fast, yeah, right? Yeah, they go too much. But I just, I it's, like these trails. I, I'm just oh, for trails. trails. lovely. It's and it. the other bike, I, I, I want to do a pedal bike tour across Canada. Okay. So I'm building up a uh, touring bike. Oh, are you? Yeah, I'm going to put packs on it and go right across Canada. I uh, just got back from Cuba 43 days. Cycling. Oh, okay. See me on this bike. <laughs> Say, what the fuck is that goof doing? <laughs> the goof just made it through the water anyway. 
<laughs> it was pretty high actually, higher than what I thought. So now there's going to be mud everywhere now that I'm dirty anyway, so what the hell. What a great ride it was, I tell you. This log train trail was fantastic, so that means we're going to have to come back next time to end it because I only got a little bit more to share, but it's worth sharing this adventure. A uh, fabulous country that we're living in here right now. Stay tuned, my friends. The end is near. Well, not that end, the world, but the end of this video series. See you next time. Cheers until next time. Stay awesome until next time. It's a long video. I know, eh?